There are several principles, philosophies really, by which I have come to live my life. In the course of this book, I will share each of these in great detail. I will tell you how I came to discover these principles, how they have challenged me, how I have challenged them, and how you can apply them to your way of thinking. Let me take a moment to outline a few of these. The first philosophy. Find your what if and live it every day. We are all dreamers about our future, the places we might visit, the jobs we might have, people with whom we might fall in love, the successes we hope to accomplish. Many of these dreams are lofty, as they should be. Dreams are the most significant ambition of our life, because dreams are big. They come with a sense of challenge, even sacrifice, which we must make to accomplish them. Many dreams come to us in the form of what-if questions, as in, what if I insert dream here? Many people only think about this in hindsight. They ponder, I wonder what I could have been if I had tried blank. I find it tragic when people have identified their own what if, but never sought an answer to that question. My goal is to give you the inspiration and the tools to discover and pursue your own what if. When you do that, you can live a life void of regret and never have to ask yourself, I wonder what I could have been if I had tried to blank. The second philosophy, show up. Opportunities are all around us. They take all forms, shapes, and sizes. Sometimes showing up is all about going to class prepared with your homework complete. Other times, showing up is about accepting an invitation. Often in life, showing up is about applying for the job you've always been interested in, the scholarship that will pay your education, or a fellowship program you think might impact your worldview. Regardless of any form an opportunity takes, it is a wasted chance if you do not show up. There is also something brilliant about showing up. It is the prerequisite of every opportunity. And the fact of the matter is that most people do not bother showing up at all. They have the tools in their hands to show up. They are even invited by others to do so. Yet they do not afford themselves the opportunity. If you can successfully shift your mentality from one of doubt to one of optimism, then you will find yourself showing up more often than anyone else. And just by pure numbers, you will excel beyond everyone around you who stayed at home. After all, you cannot walk through a door if you do not first walk up to it. Some doors may never open despite how hard you pound on them. Other doors that are wide open are useless if you don't even approach them to see what might be on the other side. The third philosophy. Suffering does not make you stronger. Learning does. I had to suffer when I was your age, so you do too. It builds character. Does this sound familiar to you? I admittedly disagree with this sentiment. Character can be learned in any number of ways, and struggles from the previous generation should not be the struggles of today's generation. Believing that the repetition of the previous generation's struggle is a rite of passage seems to be more like a way to stifle human progress and creativity than to advance it. When we can learn from others' mistakes without having to repeat them ourselves, then it allows us to develop and discover new problems that need solving. There is much to be learned from those who came before us. Whether it is someone who stops to tell us the bridge ahead is flooded and we shouldn't drive there, or it is a grandparent relaying lessons learned from decades of experience. There is plenty we can and should learn from our predecessors. Repeating struggles is inefficient and should be avoided where possible. The Fourth Philosophy A bad plan is better than no plan. Now that you have your what-if in mind, you are energized to show up, and you have learned from others around you. What comes next? 